What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be showing you how to create Google API key which is needed if you're using any Google Maps application either web-based or mobile app. In this case we're going to show you how to set up the Google API key for web applications. Firstly you need to be heading to console.cloud.google.com. I'll be leaving the link in the description area. If you're here for the first time you need to select your country and also agree to the terms of service. On the next step you can skip this for now. Go ahead and click select a project for any project on the top left of your screen. Then go ahead and click on the new project. All right, now you need to enter your project name as well as what is it for and go ahead and click the create button. Right now you'll see there's a notification on top right that says your project has been created. Go ahead and click select project. All right, now you can see the dashboard of your project. So now let's start with clicking the tree line menu on the top left and then choose API and services. All right, here you want to click on the create new API and services. All right, in our case, we're going to create API key for Google Maps. So we want to click on the view all link. So here for the basic Google Maps, you'll need the Maps JavaScript API. Make sure it's for the web based one. Geolocation API, Geocoding API, Places API, and also Directions API. Distance Matrix API is not compulsory because it's quite expensive to be honest. So it's optional if you're using an application that's using this matrix, you might need to use it, but bear in mind of the cost. So I'm going to right click each of these API and then go ahead and enable them. All right, once all done, if you go ahead and click on the menu, API and services, and go ahead and click on the dashboard, you'll see all your enable APIs. Do take note that you can enable slash disable any of these API whenever you need to enable or disable them, which can be done from the library menu on the left. All right, now let's generate the API key. You wanna click on the credentials menu on the left. Then go ahead and click on the create credentials and choose API key. All right, you can go ahead and copy paste this API key and use it in your applications. Also certain application will need you to restrict your key. So go ahead and click restrict key. So here under the application restrictions, you wanna choose HTTP refers. All right, here you'll need to enter your domain name. So usually we start with star, dot your domain name dot com or dot net or whatever slash star or you can even paste the exact url of your web page that is using google maps so right at the bottom is where you can perform the api restrictions i'm just going to leave out the setting certain application might need this and certain might not so we just leave it for a moment there you go you've created your api key you can edit this API key by clicking on the pencil icon and change the settings whenever needed. So finally, in order to use your Google API key, you'll need to link to your billing. Go ahead and click on the tree line menu on the top left and click on billing. So here you can link a billing account or manage current existing accounts to your project. So I hope this guide is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.